Welcome to my Samsung DeX internet browser comparison. Now, the best browser out of this whole list was Microsoft Edge. The worst was Mozilla Firefox. And if you guys wanna know why, stick around. My name is Mitchell, I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. And as always, this video is sponsored by TechFluent, and I'll talk about them a little bit more towards the end of this video. Now, over on Reddit in the Samsung DeX subreddit, you guys were asking me to make a browser comparison video. So I chose four of my favorite browsers that I wanted to test. I know that there are others. If this video gets more than 50 likes, you guys can comment below with what other browsers I should include in the next browser comparison. But those browsers were the stock Samsung browser, Brave browser, Mozilla Firefox, and the built-in stock Samsung browser. And if you guys want me to test a variety of Chrome later, or you want me to test uh, Kiwi browser or Opera browser, again, comment and like this video and it'll be in my next browser comparison shootout. Now, while basic internet browsing stuff is gonna perform pretty well on most modern smartphones, I wanted to throw the heaviest web pages I possibly could at these browsers. And in my personal experience, Canva and online graphic design type of websites such as Canva have been the most demanding. So I tried Canva, I tried Vengage, I did some of these side to side in split window mode with different browsers. I tried the browsers by themselves and my findings were a little bit surprising to me. Now, before we talk about those findings, I wanna talk about some of the features that you might care about in each of these browsers. Now, in the stock browser, you have the ability to have add-ons. It kind of syncs with the rest of the Samsung ecosystem. It syncs with Samsung LastPass or Samsung Password Manager. You can install a bunch of different add-ons, Adblock, et cetera. Uh, and the stock browser is kind of made to be used with Samsung DeX as well as being used mobily. Uh, Brave Browser allows you to earn crypto while using it to browse the internet. In the last year, I've probably earned 85 bucks depending upon what the price of VAT is. Brave is a privacy focused browser that blocks trackers, cookies, etc. You can sync Brave across all of your other devices. Next up is Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge, again, also allows you to sync passwords across your Edge browser on multiple devices, send stuff to other phones. It syncs with your Microsoft account. Microsoft Edge is really kind of the most bare bones internet browser, and that's possibly why it performed so well. Now, last on this list is Firefox, and Firefox is a heavily customized internet browser with tons of add-ons, tons of different kind of details that can make your internet browsing experience more pleasurable if you're willing to take advantage of them. Integration with things like Pocket, a customizable homepage, these are all things that you can leverage if you wanna use Firefox. But hint, hint, I don't know if you're gonna to wanna to use Firefox. Now, firing up Canva, Vengage, um, to test the performance of these, along with testing it on like just other web pages in desktop mode. Just regular desktop performance was okay, although I still had a persistent scaling issue with Firefox. Uh, in desktop mode, the performance of Edge was the clear winner. Edge performed great. I constantly had Edge loading web pages slightly faster. When I was using it side by side in split, min, split window mode, if I can find that footage, uh, Microsoft Edge performed better and just more responsive. Second, and not by very much, was actually the stock internet browser. And the stock internet browser handled Samsung DeX and a desktop mode well kind of unsurprisingly. The fact that you can also put add-ons onto the stock browser, I don't know if that's going to affect the performance of it, but stock browser did a really good job and was really fast and responsive when using these heavy graph design you know, style websites. Third on this list, and very much surprisingly, was Brave. Now I know that you can have compatibility issues sometimes with cookies and using Samsung Brave in the past, in previous versions of Samsung Brave, I've had issues when I am using desktop mode and I'm plugged into an external monitor. It has been 
unreliable, but performance-wise, speed to load pages, I would say that Brave was slightly slower than stock. Uh, stock was almost identical to that of Samsung Edge. Um, and I think that Brave browser is gonna continue to get better with more updates. Now last on this list, in my experience, was Firefox. Now, no matter what I could do with Firefox, I had consistent scaling issues when using Firefox for Vengage, when using it for Canva, uh, and just kind of when browsing the internet in desktop mode. It seemed like Firefox didn't know how to interact and how to display these pages um, in desktop mode on a big screen. And on top of that, I had a couple of times when web pages would just hang up completely on me and just wouldn't fully load when using Firefox. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, and if you guys are Firefox users on Edge, let me know in the comment section. But I think after my experience with all of these, I am going to stick with using the built-in stock browser uh, for a lot of the stuff, or Microsoft Edge. I can't really decide, but I like Microsoft Edge a lot. I found Microsoft Edge to be extremely responsive. It load pages really, really well, and it's more consistent than Brave, which ultimately I am using my Samsung Deck setup for work. Thus, the consistency and the reliability of Microsoft Edge would place it really, really highly. At the same time, the stock browser does have some very specific uh, customizations and some very specific features that make it uh, DeX compatible or DeX specific compatible, um, like with the ability to turn desktop mode on and off depending upon whether or not you are in DeX mode. Now, if you guys wanna go ahead and support the channel, a great way to do it is to check out my brand, TechFluent. We make these awesome pouches for external hard drives. If you're trying to use a laptop or even a DeX or a lap dock as an external accessory, these pouches are a great way to go ahead and hold cables, hold external hard drives, or even in my case, hold my phone when I'm using my UPerfect X Pro. Until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi with Samsung DeX. Peace.